Hello everybody, welcome back to another mid-journey tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you a new technique you may not be aware of, and it is fantastic. You can take either your own generated art or a piece of picture, like a picture or art of your own and add this to it and get incredible results. Very simply, I want to show you how to work with emojis. That's right, emojis work with mid-journey. It's kind of crazy. If I type in imagine, and I go ahead and I, let's say I just pump, I'm just gonna use any old emoji. I'm gonna click on this emoji button here at the bottom right, and then I'm gonna have a dog, and I'm gonna have a snowman, and I'm gonna have a brain, and then I'm gonna just go ahead and whatever. I mean, just click on these three random kind of emojis. It's gonna go ahead and create some really cool stuff. While this process is, I wanna show you a really cool technique one that I actually really enjoy using because it, you know, I got a dog. So here you go. I'm gonna go grab a picture of my puppy dog, Kingston, and I'm just gonna drag and drop him into the mid journey and then hit enter. When I do that, you'll see here, here's my puppy dog. I'm just gonna right click on his face and I'm gonna copy that link. Now watch this. I'm gonna go imagine, and then I'm gonna go command V on a Mac, control V on a, P on a PC or uh, anything like that. I'm gonna hit space bar, and now I'm just gonna start adding in some emojis to show you how cool this is. I'm gonna add in a heart emoji, and I'm gonna add in a dog emoji, and we'll go with that for now, okay? Well, actually, you know, let's just go with the heart emoji because this is a really cool one. Um, now, while I do that, and this one runs, let's look at what we got on our first one. This was just three emojis, it's a dog, it's a snowman and it's a brain. And what did we get? We got this cool, cool set of images. Look at this, this cool art, look at that. We've got a dog kind of wrapped up in a in a mountain with the snow coming down, nice and bright. He, he, we got this guy here, this little uh, uh, pupper here with glasses on, because <laughs> obviously that's what smart means. And we got this one down here, this little golden doodle looking bugger, uh, or a little mini poodle. It's got a fur coat on and it's got a scarf on because it's cold out and it looks like it's thinking, it looks like some sort of Harvard professor look. Very cool stuff, very cool. Let's see another one here. This one here is just a heart plus my dog. Now I'm gonna be honest, a couple of these missed pretty bad. This one is very terrifying. This one is extra terrifying, but this one looks pretty good, and this one is quite good. It's even got the white in between his eyes. So there you go, we've got a, an example of a puppy dog uh, with that emoji. Now I'm gonna show you a few other really good ones here. I, this is one that I had a bunch of, I had three hearts plus my dog and you've already seen my dog and this is what it gave me. This is the upscaled version. Beautiful, this is a really nice picture. It got the white between his eyes and the brown on each side here or the brindle between it. Wonderful stuff. Here is just two snowmen. Here's what we got. Another very cool image. I don't know, this looks like it might belong in some sort of James and the Giant Peach <laughs> movie or something like that, but just ultra really cool stuff. This one's got a, well, this one's a little weird because it's got this person stuck to this snowman monster, but all this was was two snowmen. And the reason why this is interesting, in my personal opinion, is because it allows you to access new techniques, new styles, new outcomes that you can never really, you, you really don't know what you're gonna get. Like here's here's my dog, and then I added in a dog emoji. So this is my dog, Kingston plus the emoji, and I got this sort of weird set of cross, my dog crossed with other types of dogs. So again, uh, this is just what a dog emoji will give you. It just gave me four really cool shots of these four very different types of dogs. What do we got there? Cavalier or Charles King Spaniel. We got a Chihuahua. We got, we got a Golden Retriever mix down at the bottom right there. Some really good stuff. So there you go, guys. This is just really, really cool stuff. Yeah, and let me show you the one last one that I really, really enjoyed. Oh, look at that. That looks like my boy Kingston, but he's all wrapped up. Oh, that makes my heart happy. Uh, one last one. I'm going to go into my finder. I'm going to grab the really, really popular girl with a pearl earring. When I did this one, this was awesome, by the way. Uh, there it is. Here, I just dragged and dropped it in. Now I'm just going to right-click on the image. I'm going to copy that link. And now I'm just going to go Imagine, Command-V or Control-V to copy it in. And now I'm just going to go ahead and add in a heart emoji. Watch what it gave me. And while it runs this one, I'll show you what it gave me up top here. And it did a tremendous job. Uh, where is it? Right here. Look at that. Look at this image here. And this isn't even the best one. The best one up here, if I go a little further up, is like, it's that one's great. This one is amazing. It's a little bit of Amber Alertish, if I'm being honest with you, but uh, it made the, uh, the girl look a little younger. But 
pretty good stuff. Here's an example. Like this gave me four really good interpretations of Girl with a Pearl Earring. So I got to give this mad credit for that. Oh, look at this. We're going to get a girl with a pearl earring holding on to a dog. All right, I'm happy. I'm, I'm this, this, is, this is how I'm going to end the video. You can't get any better than that. Like, I mean, I don't know about you, but I click on that. We got this girl. The, the face isn't quite where I'd want it. I would run some variations on this one. But this on the bottom right is amazing. The top right is quite good. Bottom left is quite good. I would, if this was me, I would U4 and then I would V1 and I would just run that again. But that's all it is. Just add emojis to your art or to your prompts. You're going to get some amazing results. Put some comments down. Let me know if you've had any luck with this. Thanks for watching.